Now on GMA, we are diving into the summer of love. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why what? I just did that. Apologies. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> so we called for some reinforcements here. Relationship expert and host of the Smart Dating Academy podcast, Bella Gandhi is joining us now. And to save me here as we uh, answer some of your dating questions, uh, Bella, it's always great to have you. We just get excited when we have these segments, right? Um, so let's talk about dating apps, because obviously a lot of people use those nowadays, but some people get dating app fatigue. So what's your advice for people experiencing that? The fatigue is real. If you're exhausted, shut the dating apps off. Take a dating detox. But if you're just a little tired, put boundaries around it. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. That's all. And it's summer. As an alternative, get yourself out and meet people doing real life things that you like. Kayaking, hiking, running. Running, whatever it is. Oh, I love that. Get out in real life. It's been a long time since the three of uh, us yeah, have been in the dating phase. <laughs> 18 years. Uh, but so. luckily, we have a question from a viewer, a very good question from Gaia. Take a listen. Scheduling dates in the summer has been hard. How do I know if the relationship is moving forward at a good pace? Good question. How do you know if the relationship is moving forward? Well, you want to make sure it's not too slow and not too fast. So for the first month, one date a week with this person. After that, the second and the third month, ramp it up to two dates a week. By 15 dates, that's our 15 date rule, have the conversation about exclusivity, put a title on it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's I didn't follow that advice. That's <laughs> very, very, very fast, sorry. Uh, we have another viewer question here. This one is from Matt, check it out. I'm 56 years old and just getting back into the dating world. What should I know and expect in this phase of my life? Oh, mm. good question. Mm. Dating over 50 is an amazing time to date. There are millions of singles that are out there looking for love and companionship. So adopt the attitude, what I call psychotic optimism. Love is out there for me, and I just have to find it. But if you're just getting back into the dating world after a long time, get some help. There's tons of free information on the Internet. Our podcast has over 150 episodes, tons of free stuff, a tip. Get a Google Voice number. It's a fake phone number that routes to your cell, so you don't have to give a bunch of dating strangers oh. your oh. phone number, so it keeps you safe, and you can call and text from it. Oh, can I do that with my family? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, too. Love you dearly. Uh, okay, we got another question here. This one's on Instagram. This is from Isabel. She asks, I met a guy on a dating app, and it said that he wasn't looking for anything serious. We spend a lot of time together, and I don't think he's dating other people, but I'm not sure. What should I do? If he says he's not looking for something serious, believe him. Okay. Even if he's spending a lot of time with you, ask the question, get on the same page. 2024, the summer, use your voice. Ask things you want to know. Mm -hmm. Get on the same page. Okay. And psychotic that. optimism. Psychotic I optimism. That. <laughs> I like that. The second part's important, though. The second mm. part of that. Uh, Bella, thank you so much, as always. We appreciate it.